Coach First Ever All the Wild rivalry for you. Um, what have you heard? You know, what have you seen? You know, what, what it kind of means to, to the city? Yeah, I know. Uh, obviously, it's a, a passionate, passionate experience, and uh, two fan bases that, that care a lot about their uh, about their schools and their communities, and uh, really excited uh, for the opportunity to be a part of it. Do you have to, um, I guess, kind of have some of the new guys lean on the rookie veterans on this team that have the Packers experience in the years prior? What's that like? Yeah, I think you you know you're always sharing um, experiences and wisdom where you can, and giving context. Um, obviously we've got some guys that have been through this before. They know what the level of intensity looks like, the level of physicality in a game like this. And, um, for, you know, a lot of our guys, um, it'll be, uh, their first time in an experience like this, but we have guys that have, you know, won state championships and competed in big games before. And so it's really no different from those experiences in the grand scheme of things. Coming off a 2-0 week in conference and getting them in the brick first, how exciting is that for your first guy? Yeah, I think uh, it's a great opportunity to build off of a, a successful weekend last last week at home. And uh, obviously, you know, you, you got a, uh, a passionate fan base that, uh, that that cares a great deal about this one. And so it'd be, be exciting to, to pack the building out and, um, you know, we'll try to use that home court advantage. What's the closest thing you've had to a rivalry like this in your career? Uh, probably the Lehigh Lafayette rivalry at my alma mater. Uh, it's the most played college football rivalry in the country, but uh, the schools are 12 minutes apart, so um, that you know that that brought the community out a, a great deal, much like this, and um, and so I've been a part of some some really cool experiences that way. And uh, again, you know, once the lights go on, the ball gets tipped. Um, it's really about execution and and uh, you know executing your game plan and and the guys playing to the best of their ability. What, uh, what's it like to go up against Travis again? Yeah, it's fun. You know, I've I've known Travis since I was eight years old. We have a a, a long. Uh, you know, history together in the game, and, and uh, he's somebody I have a great deal of respect for, and and uh, you know, it'll be it'll, it'll be uh, something. I know my grandfather will be, be smiling down, and and, um, and and very proud of uh, of two of his former players in a, a situation like that. Not sure how far you in, you are into a film study of that team this week, but um, is, is there anything that you already know you're going to have to be mindful of when they get here? Well, you know, you got a group in, in uh, Montana that, that has a very experienced backcourt. Um, you know, Josh Vasquez has played 135 games, I believe, for, for Montana. Uh, Brandon Whitney's been starting since he was a freshman, and Ana Moody is in his seventh year of college basketball. So you've got guys that um, are very experienced in the backcourt. Um, and then frontcourt, uh, guys that, that, that play with, uh, you know, great physicality and, and um, are, are athletic around the basket. and. Um, Deshaun Thomas is doing a great job shooting the basketball, kind of been an X factor for them um, in, in that way. So, um, you know, certainly a lot of respect, uh, you know, for, for them and uh, be, be an exciting opportunity for us. Obviously, they go through Moody quite a bit. They run a lot of actions for him. Have you thought about uh, ways in which to slow him down? Yeah, yeah, we thought about that a lot. <laughs> uh, Robert Ford, um, you know, you've obviously seen his better leadership. Um, Led the team in rebounds, you know, the other night, double-double again, top six in steals in the entire nation. Kind of does it all for you guys. What have you, uh, you know, been seeing lately from Robert? Yeah, I mean, Robert is uh, just our, our heart and soul. He's the guy that, um, you know, you can count on every single night, leaving it all out there. Um, I don't know how he survives some of the games that he plays and collisions that he, that he takes, but um, he just wears his heart on his sleeve and uh, competes with such great passion. He has such a nose for the basketball, whether that's rebounding or steals. Um, and, and it's made a you know, huge difference on our team, um, obviously, in that regard. But I think his leadership and, and his coachability and buy-in to what we're trying to establish as well um, is equally as impressive to me um, because, you know, he, he's, he's played for a number of different coaches now. And, um, you know, this is his last chance to, to, to finish his career well. And I think he's off to a you know, great start with that. You just spoke about, a little bit about his leadership. How important is it to have a guy like that inside of a locker room of, of essentially rookies in, in Montana State? Yeah, I think it's huge. You know, not only does um, does Rob kind of set the tone with our competitive spirit and our passion, but he also has done a really good job of, of uh, in those moments where things need to be settled and, and, and having poise um, of, of allowing that to come through and being a leader in that regard. And, and uh, that's – you know, really hard sometimes when you when you play at such a high emotional level with so much spirit and passion to be able to to, to you know carry both sides of that coin. I think he's done it masterfully well so far. Frank Racky uh, has been stepping up big time, very efficient shooting night on Saturday. 
Um, how much have you seen his confidence grow stepping up? Yeah, I think, um, you know, his confidence comes from his preparation. You know, uh, he was somebody that um, was used to performing in, in big moments uh, for our program uh, at Point Loma. And so he's been in big moments. Um, he's not scared of those moments. His, his poise and um, confidence, I think, comes through from his preparation and the work he puts in. And obviously, we've got a lot of confidence in him uh, because of those things. What's your favorite part about the just the steadiness, you know, um, the steadiness, the loyalty. You know, he was somebody that we really identified early in the recruiting process that um, chose our basketball family over multiple Division One opportunities out of high school. Um, and so you just appreciate someone that believes in, in your vision for them. And uh, that means a lot to, you know, myself and Coach Smith, who, who uh, helped recruit him down there. And um, it's been, you know, really rewarding to see all that hard work and, and, um, and that belief pay off for him this year. How much have you grown? He's grown, grown a lot. Um, you know, I think he's always been able to shoot the basketball and, and um, you know, that's kind of like riding a bike to him. But he's really grown in a lot of other areas of his game with uh, his defense, his physicality, his ball handling, um, his just understanding of, of how to win, um, what that takes, what that requires. Um, he's, he's really grown, you know, a, a great deal in, in all those areas that are, you know, not necessarily things that pop off the stat sheet. Uh, Zach Bain has experience over the hill uh, what how, how much have you kind of talked to him how much you think he's going to help you going into this game? yeah i mean obviously um you know we, he, he's got tremendous experience in the conference and then obviously spent you know spent four years over there and knows their, their personnel well so um you know that that uh, adds a little bit of experience to to our preparation but um you know it's not my first rodeo either i i'm, I'm sure uh you know that they've, they've got something new that they'll try you know to offset that and um, that's just that's just part of the game within the game. Is there anything you or other, the players have done to kind of try to prepare for a rivalry, especially the guys who haven't been here, um, and, and guys like you who haven't had played in this game before? Is there anything specific, or are you just kind of preparing for it? Like a, From my experience, you know, the 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 larger the stakes, the the greater the pressure, the the, the more fans in the building. Um, just mean that you have to focus on your process that much more, and so um, to go outside of that is kind of counter. Um, you know, counterintuitive to, to, to what works, you know, on Saturday night when the lights come on. And so um, our process is going to remain the same. We're going to prep um, like we have for every opponent. And, and obviously um, there's certain elements of uh, maybe talking about poise and, and, um, and, and some things like that because of the, the environment change. Um, but that's about, that's about it. The game got very physical on Saturday, but your team had no issue, you know, stepping up to the plate in that aspect. Yeah, I mean, I think that's been um, that's been a tell of the tape, you know, in these games in years past. It's always a, a very physical game, and I think we've been trying to prep our guys um, throughout this year in that category and, and, and continuing to grow and uh, you know and, and and match that intensity level and that physicality level that we see. And and there's numerous ways to do that. And uh, I think we've we've stepped up to the plate in recent weeks to really grow in that area. And, and so I'm excited to see what that looks like on Saturday.